Bender. Clay pulls the motion man. It's second and five for Big Ben. Taking a shot downfield towards Claypool. And he can't bring it in. Just across midfield. The Ravens are missing a lot of folks, but they are not missing DBs. Marcus Peters, their recovery. And they threw a lot of different sort of eye candy at Peters over here. They had three different routes going down the right side of the field. He sort of chose the middle and almost got outrun on that one by Chase Claypool, who has not dropped many this season. He has been sensational and has become their deep threat. It's going to be won or lost. See Peters right there, bottom of your screen across from Deontay Johnson, trying to lock him up. It's a quick toss inside to get the first down with Juju Smith-Schuster across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Ben Roethlisberger, you talking about him. He, he talking about Juju, a young guy, but as the leader of that receiver group now. From the 16, one more time, five of the pattern underneath. Down, it's a completion to Juju Smith-Schuster. Queen trying to pull the ball out of his arms. Juju too strong. First and goal, Pittsburgh. You know, Mike, I think this is what Ben has wanted to get to his entire life. I really do. In Pittsburgh, if you don't have a fullback, they get mad at you here. If you don't have Jerome Bettis and pounding the football, they get mad at you. But this is what the Steelers are right now. And uh, Jimmy Smith was on a knee for a moment on this drive back in for Baltimore. Here's the matchup right here. Second and goal, Ben looking left, fires, and it's incomplete. Claypool trying to bring it down, but Marlon Humphrey was all over him. It'll bring up third and goal. Humphrey, one of the great players in this game, no question about it. Just going to work to the inside. Humphrey, a physical guy, knows how to strip the ball out, whether you catch it, you don't catch it. But eventually, they have to try Tremont Williams, number 29. He is a 37-year-old defensive back playing in the slot against Juju Smith-Schuster. Snap from Hassanauer, the new center, replacing Pouncey. Roethlisberger's pass is complete. Take it to the 30-yard line with Claypool. The rookie out of Notre Dame, the second-round pick, having an exceptional season. And it's a first down for the Steelers, gain of 21. Yeah, end up with man-to-man -man coverage on the outside with Marcus Peters. Not really a strong suit. Look at all the space Peters gives him out there because Claypool has basically been beating everybody deep this season. He also got stripped in that first game. Look at him. Both arms wrapped around his body, his <laughs> elbows, everything. Strike shirt. His opinion. Two no round. So here's Roethlisberger and the Steelers back to work. Ben's shot play for Claypool to start the half. Lot of hand fighting. Incomplete. And a flag. Two of them come in for pass interference. It was Chase Claypool against Marlon Humphrey. And they discuss it. Pass interference. Defense, number 44. Spot foul. Automatic first down. Well, the minute that Ben Roethlisberger saw that blitz coming at him, he knew he had man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, and Claypool is going to be the guy he's going to take the shot with. It was a pretty good battle going down the field, but those battles seem to always go to the receiver. I kind of like when they let him play a little bit. Yeah, he's in there right now. Matthew Judon, he a big yard here. Ben's going to throw for it, and it's broken up, and it's incomplete. No flag down, and this Ravens defense on the money downs have cashed in throughout. <laughs> Queen can't believe it didn't come up with it, but the Ravens come up with the stop. Bottom against Anthony McFarland. Yep, the running back came in. Ben's going to go to the other side. Catch, but no run. Nowhere to go as Peters was all over Chase Claypool. And this Ravens secondary is doing a sensational job of tackling and limiting yards after the catch tonight. And covering. And the key was they knew coming into this game what style of play they were going to get out of Roethlisberger. So their goal and the entire goal for this game, let's get on them early. Let's not play off of this guy. Don't give him anything free. Look, watch out. Second and ten, scoreless third quarter, blitz coming, Ben hit, got rid of it to Juju Smith-Schuster. Did he have a catch and then fumble out of bounds? The beanbag being thrown down would indicate that, but now from the back, the official says incomplete pass. Be third and ten. One, two, a little bobbling. Mm -hmm. I would say incomplete. 
Are you saying complete with the bobble? I think I think the bobble happened sort of. I think it starts right. Uh, maybe not. I, th I thought he put it away and made that turn. I'd say catch and fumble out of bounds and at the spot where he fumbled. Mike Tomlin thinks the same thing. He's going to throw his red challenge yeah, flag. Yeah. And here's the answer. The Pittsburgh receiver completed the process of the catch, then fumbled the ball forward and out of bounds. The ball will be brought back to the spot of the fumble, which is a 44-yard line. It'll be Pittsburgh's ball at that spot. Please set the game clock to three minutes and four seconds, please. 3.04. The clock will start on my signal. Pittsburgh is not charged with a timeout. And they can earn a third challenge. Could be third and five, Chris. Yeah, it looks like because that first foot was still on the ground, that counts as a step. Right, Terry? That's that's correct, Chris. That that's his first one. Then he gets a second step, and then he takes an additional step with control. That completes the process. Catch, fumble out of bounds. The official stood, was standing over the ball, so no way. Yeah, because Pittsburgh had made a sub. I was watching the same thing. Big Ben, the out caught Claypool right at the mark. First down, and uh, he's he 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 I could tell that he was limping just a little bit on that last one. You know, this may be part of not being able to practice for whatever it was, mm -hmm. 10 days. Wow. It's a first down. Peters heads over to the sideline. And that was some of the concern of some of the Ravens players for the Ravens on defense. Second and five. Ben's back again. Nothing's over. This time he's holding on to it. And he completes it. And it was not down by contact, they say. And the Ravens sideline disagreed as Claypool got up and got to the 48 yard line. So did contact happen after the catch during the process of? I'll tell you, Wink Martindale is going to be sick. They sent the blitz that time and they did not get pressure and it looked like he did bounce yep. back up.